the iPhone 5. For the first time ever for a company like Apple in many, many years, this was a critical announcement and a very, very important release. Remember, the iPhone 4S has sold very well, but not in the last few months, and the competition has become very strong. In that environment, with the fact that the iPhone 5 now contributes more than half the revenue for a single product for a company like Apple, this is a critical release. Huge expectations, lots of dream features, lots of rumors. Eventually, what came out? Well, I'll put it in a quick synopsis. It is thinner, 7.6 mm. It is lighter, 112 grams. Has a new processor, the A6. The display is larger, 4 inches, and it has a new connector. With that, I've pretty much reviewed the new iPhone 5. Lots more, but they're all incremental stuff. So let's now take a quick look. The new iPhone 5, what does it have? The wait is over, September 12th, 2012. The day began with long lines of journalists and Apple fans lining up. The world awaited with bated breath. Once again, the annual pilgrimage to the altar of Apple has begun. At stake, the biggest selling device for the most valuable company in the world. A device that contributes 50% to its treasure chest. The sixth generation of the iPhone was about to be announced. Never before has the iPhone come up against such serious and formidable competition, which is why Apple needed to pull off some serious magic here. Did it? Tim Cook, trying to fill in the big shoes of Steve Jobs, walked onto stage. He looked a little older, a lot more stressed, and wore the Steve Jobs look. Black shirt and a lean, thin body. Here's what he had to say about the iPhone 5. Slightly taller than the 4S, it's not much different to look at than its predecessor. In fact, it almost looks like somebody took the previous phone and gave it a good stretch. It's thinner at 7.6mm and has an anodized aluminium body that is 18% thinner and 20% lighter than iPhone 4S. 112 grams is all it weighs now. The 5 boasts of a Retina display on a 4-inch screen and comes with a pretty good resolution of 1136 into 640, which yields 326 pixels per inch. And it gives the phone a 16 is to 9 aspect ratio that's wider than the iPhone 4S. Some apps may need letterboxing on the sides. Hopes were high for Apple to go optically higher, but all we got was an 8-megapixel rear camera. The new panorama features images of up to 28 megapixel by simply moving the camera across the screen in one smooth motion. The camera quality is good like it has always been, but looking at the competition around, it should have taken that extra step. There is a front camera too, it comes with 720 pixel for all you FaceTime lovers. Having 4G in the next gen iPhone was inevitable. Thankfully, Apple went ahead and made the new iPhone LTE compatible. The heart of the iPhone 5 is the new A6 chipset that is twice as fast as the A5 present in the 4S. iPhone 5 will be shipped with the latest iOS 6 packing in the virtual wallet, passbook app and the maps look great on this one. Say hi to the new Siri that now even lets you post on Facebook by voice. Just when everyone was getting the hang of micro sims, Apple goes ahead and brings in the nano sim for its device. Apple did say goodbye to the 30-pin connector and got a small one instead and gave it a new name too, the Lightning Connector. The problem? Every single existing accessories will go obsolete in a flash and while you will be able to get adapters, it is kind of fiddly to always keep one with you. Still, this is a future-ready feature. Some of the big rumours didn't come through. No wireless charging, no NFC on board, no Bluetooth 4.0. Price just like the iPhone 4S at 199, 299 and 399 for 16, 32 and 64 GB respectively. There you have it, the iPhone 5. A fantastic piece of phone technology, but did they do enough? Well, time will tell. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.